Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So I don't have any commentary for this particular video. However, I do encourage you to watch the video in its entirety. Sabrina and Tyrone talk about their connection on Ready to Love and say they were initially connected because of their Korean background. Sabrina also talks about in this video how Zadia antics triggered her childhood memories where she was bullied. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So there were, time, there were times where, you know, you're in the comments, you know, you read them, you know, you kind of do a search for your name on Twitter or whatever, yeah. because you want to get a feel for how the people feel really? about you. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, you just kind of realize, hey, that's, that's their entertainment. Like my purpose was to be on the show. I did that. So I'm going to stay in that lane. I'm going to let them have that. Let them yep. have those comments. And I'll periodically go, you know, and peek here and, here and there. Um, but I try not to, you know, I try not to respond to like the negative comments. Although yeah. I want to yeah. all the time. I have a couple know? couple days I have just because yeah. now you know kind of like in the clear I'm like uh -huh. oh, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah I get to get go in yeah I only it. did it like three or four or maybe five times <laughs> <Let's get laughs> yeah but I'm done now I'm done I'm like I got time today <laughs> yes yes let me grab a drink get comfortable go in <laughs> right. now, I was called crazy I was called uh violent on the spectrum, yeah, autistic, <laughs> oh, all wow. that, yeah, wow, yeah, wow, and it's crazy because I'm gonna keep it all the way a hundred because of, of all the things that you discuss, of the things that you deal with. On that note, is the main reason why I I fell for you, uh -huh. and I that type of attraction towards you, because at first I was like. What? written on me you remember that remember when uh -huh. we said I yeah as a hug but yeah then, that was like hour 12 right that was hour 12 hour 14 yeah um even yesterday i was gonna hit you up like even after the uh at the reunion i was like how does sabrina still have all this energy to do the pictures and the videos and all that stuff like i was i was done you know yeah i was done i just wanted to go home tired yeah yeah i feel you um you know i have to i i stay motivated because i focus on the positive things mm. I focus things that i love to do mm. i focus on things that i know um would help me get to the next level in my life you know i focus on those kind of things i don't you know and guess what i might be exhausted i might be on three hours of sleep but those are the things that make mm -hmm. my heart smile. So I don't have right. a problem with doing it, you know? Like when mm -hmm. I get up, I'm excited about getting up in the morning. Like mm -hmm. I'm, that's like, good morning, birds. Yeah. Good morning, sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's say I'm blushing. Yeah, I was blushing. Man, I saw Sabrina. I don't know. It was like. I don't know from a movie because the sun was like behind you. <laughs> the dress that you had on. I mean, that was Phil. He was like, you want to come watch the sunset? <laughs> <laughs> oh my was, God, you're funny, Tyro. Because the sun wasn't even setting yet. You were, it was, the sun was like I'm telling you, when, you we... when you walked in, it was like you had this, this glow. Like, I've, and I've only seen that. Oh, once. I get it. I see what you're yeah. saying. I saw Alicia Keys in person once. And she had to go. Then, <laughs> then uh, Sabrina had to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know that already, though. Oh you no! Know. Oh no, Taro! Oh no! In my confessions, I was like, "Man, if everybody's gonna be like Sabrina, then I'm good." <laughs> but you know, that must have been in the very, 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 yeah, very. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh God. And I really I 
don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're gonna have to like um, call me one day and sing that song to me again. But um, yeah, I, I that was like that was like our first TV moment where it was kind of like, wait a minute, no, that's not what I said. Yeah. <laughs> because I had no idea. But um, yeah, I wish that. And I think that that moment could have been so special just because of the fact that we had such a great connection mm -hmm. because we had so much in common, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And when you were like singing Korean, even though, I, even though how they showed it, it made it seem like I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. I was like, my panties just got <laughs> weak a little bit. <laughs> I was like, he's singing to Korea. Him and my yeah. mama gonna get along great. Yeah. I thought I was in there after that. <laughs> I was like, ain't nobody here speak Korean. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. yeah. Just got points right there. Yeah, but you, but in real life, like I wish we, but it was like we had just walked in and all these people were, like mm -hmm. in real life, I wanted to be like, Anya Hassel. Yeah. I wanted to be like, Sarangye. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you ever translate the words though? No, song? I didn't, oh. but it but I think I was it something that I saw you talk about or something and you kinda explained to me or not it to me, but whoever you were talking to, it must have been a live that you did. Mm -hmm. It might have been with um Little Black Book. I'm not sure. But maybe you? yeah. But it, with it, Kojo and I think yeah. you explained a little bit on that interview and I was like, Oh, I was like I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> It, it actually translates to like um, sometimes I live life like a fool or something like that. Yes. Sometimes I live life like an idiot. Yes. Yeah. So so how do you feel like um, you lived your life on this show? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Man. So like from the very first date, right? From the very first date, um, you know, Zadia asked, like, who was my top three? And there's some wording that I want to talk about when they was talking about top three, bottom three. I feel like they switched the wording on that question for a reason. But we'll talk about it after. Um, but even in the first date, Zadia was asking me who's my top three. And I was like, damn, like, y'all want to know right now? Like, this is the first date. Um, so in my mind, I'm like, all right. The ladies is talking. They already admitted to the fact that the ladies are talking. And the ladies want to know and they want to make moves. Right? Based off of what everyone's feeling. So, I told her. So, then it just felt like, you know, there was pressure to get that information out. Even though I knew I did wanted to know, but we didn't have to make it public. But then, you know, when I had the, the date with Kerry, it was like, alright. Everything that I do from now on let's go tell them and the one with you was the first one that was the hardest one right that was the hardest one um and it was aisha i know we made that joke before but aisha was like you know at the pool she was like bruh yeah, speak you know, your truth. the ladies is talking you want something go for it so in my mind i'm like all right they want to know and i figured none of the other dudes is doing it right integrity is important to me and it wasn't like i didn't you know i just felt like i'm just letting you all know where i stand it doesn't mean it ain't gonna change or that it can't change can i say something yeah real? go ahead go ahead go ahead, go ahead. But, i know bro i right? know i, I know. said to you i was like have you watched the show before <clears throat> i was so, like don't put all your eggs in the bag without me being like you about to be eliminated, dog. Like, I don't... Right. <laughs> right. But, I, you know, I kind of preferred the fact that, you know, in the end, if I was honest, I could live with that, right? If I got kicked off, like, there's a bunch of reasons to be kicked off, right? I but if I got kicked off... I not even do it anymore. I was like, he's... He knows that this a it's a possibility that he'll be voted off the show. And I was like, you know what? He must want to. I was like, he's probably done with the process and was like, you know what? This is a good way for me to exit, and that's what I'm gonna do. And I really thought that you using it as an excuse because I was like, "There's no way." I was like, "Tyrone, no." 
in all honesty, I, I, in the back of my mind, I'm like, if somebody wanted me here, I would still be there, right? I wasn't thinking about the ladies' deliberation day or the liberation week, or else I would have just kept quiet, right? I wouldn't have said shit. <laughs> you know, I just felt like um, that it could have changed, right? But I felt like maybe what I said to everyone else spread, obviously. Um, but I felt like there may have been time to make other connections. There may have been time for, you know, those feelings to change, right? Mm -hmm. So I know it might have came off harsh. Like, mm -hmm. when I make a statement like, wife, girl, lady, mm -hmm. I, I just got tired of saying top three, right? Yeah. I got tired of, you know, and I didn't want to be vague and be like, and not to bash Phil, I didn't want to be like, yeah, you are one of my strongest connections. Right? Right. I, want, I wanted it to be clear, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> so, and I remember going through it and watching it, being frustrated, you know, that other people want to want being clear. Right. But, but I understand the problem. And that's about, why you had the frustrations about the process. You were like, no one else is doing it. And that was frustrating you. Is it because you. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. But uh, remember when I was talking about the wedding? Yes. So I feel like they, they switched it from saying who is in your top to saying who do you not have a connection with. And then that gets away from people putting oh, a specific person and saying he's at the, that person's at the bottom. Right. Then you can just be diplomatic and say, I don't have a connection with this person. Something I thought about today. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, and it's a possibility that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. something, I mean, you, we we don't know. Yeah. You know, but you have to just remember, like, maybe, but guess what? Will it change anything now? No. 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 You know what I mean? Like, it, no. it can't, and that's a lot of times, man, you had me cracking up earlier, like, my, eye, my mm -hmm. eyes, like, are, keep watering now. Mm -hmm. um, but you know that's one thing that I had to like program my brain like probably about episode four or five I was like wait a minute I'm tripping I was like I need to relax I can't let this crap get to me because guess what mm -hmm. one thing I one thing I have always said to myself is that I will not allow something to consume my happiness especially with it with me not being able to control it like I can't like we can't we don't control the editing we don't control we just have to go we went in we did what we had to do we did it and guess what because it was like episode after episode I was like wait a minute you know what I'm saying <laughs> so I was, and I was like wait a minute like I can't control anything I can't and it's just like you know what once I came to that conclusion where I'm not going to allow this to stress me out because I have no control over the narrative. My life got so much easier. And especially now. And like, I, like sometimes I'll see like negative comments and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, guess what? It's not going to change anything. Yeah. It's not going to change anything. People, you could have been, honey... On the show, I could have had angel, I mean, wings, angel wings and a halo over my head. And people are still going to be like, oh, my God, her eyelashes coming off. Yeah. You know <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I just I don't I don't dwell over stuff that I can't control. And but it is it is sometimes it is things that, you know, I think about just like what you just said. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ding, 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 yeah. ding. And I'm like, what can I do? Nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Calling someone a bitch is not class. But guess what? I was called a lot worse. So whatever. Miss whatever you are, whoever you are. But anyway, <laughs> I think that's like, I was. <laughs> I haven't even been looking at the comments. And that was like the first one I saw. I'm oh. like, you're not class. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. I know 
stuff that wasn't really classy that I saw on the show. So, <laughs> but if you want to attack me and if it makes you feel mm -hmm. better today, bring mm -hmm. it. Are you gonna do? Uh, I got a strong coat of armor on, honey, and I am gonna, blessed. Are you gonna do uh, reviews of the next season? And the yes. season after that? And the season after that? The season after um, that. Honey, <laughs> by then I'll be somewhere um, living in Europe. Um, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. have no idea. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna do reviews on the next season. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty excited about it because it's going to feel good being on the other side of it. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you may um, may let out too much subconsciously because you have an idea of what the process is like? like what do you mean? You, like you're going to look at it differently because you understand the process. And you may end up spilling some, some truth accidentally. <laughs> No, so one thing about me is, mm -hmm. oh God. So growing up, I had, I was that person that used to speak without thinking first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I realized I shouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so, I mean, just because it wasn't, it, it just wasn't good for me. And um, because a lot of the things I would think about after the fact, you know what I mean? After the situation mm -hmm. was done and I was gone home or I mm -hmm. got off like two days later and then it's kind of like, dag, I shouldn't have said it like that. Like, this is what I meant. I wonder yeah. what right now. But so it's like I really try to be intentional with my words. Yes. Yeah. So definitely don't think like I'm going to be in there and be like, da -da 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 -da. dag, I shouldn't have said that. No. No, I'm just at a point in my life where, you know, I literally walk by faith. I, I, I don't even question my footsteps. I don't question my words because I feel like everything that I try to do is, is good, <clears throat> and mm -hmm. positive, and I try to do the right things. You know what I mean? And sometimes I have to get out of character. Absolutely. Who you keep smiling at, Tyrone? No, I'm thinking about the moment. I'm going to ask you about the moment after you. Oh, I <laughs> like this. I'm like, who's there? Put him on No, light. the Patriots game is on. But I got you. I'm here. Uh, I'm focus. I'm I focus. Would, you're making time for me. Yeah, of course. Okay, now what, what time were you thinking about? I'm listening. At the pool. Okay. When I was cooking. Do you remember I, what you... Go you, ahead. Go you remember ahead. what you said <laughs> to me? When, I, like you walked up to me and was like... Uh, it was like a bunch of us standing there. You was like, something, something, something. I'm going to be waiting in the pool. I remember. Do you remember exactly what you said? Because I... Not exactly, but I remember. And I remember also, too, that you got upset because when I got in the pool, somebody was in the pool with me and you were in your feelings. No. Yeah, huh? I think I was upset because... Uh-huh, go ahead. I think I was like, did Sabrina just try me in front of all these people? No, what are you talking uh, about? I really liked you. No, it felt like you were giving me an ultimatum. Really? Yeah. No. Uh, oh, all right. No, because even all that. <clears throat> were looking at me like, oh, that's Walter's girl. That's Walter's girl. But even Walter oh, I wasn't knew, thinking that. I, was I wasn't thinking that at all. I'm, I wrong. Yeah, no. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. No, it was to the point where I was like, it's going to be like, that's going to be, that's my boo. Like, we going to be like, I wanted to be like, that's my boo. And we making it to the end together. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's how I was feeling. I was really feeling you because it was a point in time where even though I had a connection with Walter, remember, it was like a week strong. We almost yeah. too strong. Yeah. You and I, we were like nonstop. Like, yeah. hey, boo. What you doing? <laughs> For like almost two weeks. I mean, and we learned yeah. a lot about each other. Remember? Yeah. I mean, yeah. and I just was like, so what? Like, you going to move down here or <clears throat> remember? Yeah. That first week I had some conversations with my friends and I was like, this whole career thing is coming back. Ten minutes. And, uh, and I was like, when you watch the show, you're going to understand. Eight. It's going to all make sense. Um, 
And then I told them, you know, after week one, week two, I was like, I'm pretty sure you all are going to know <laughs> who I like, it's, especially when she says where she's from. Then all my friends will get it because they understand, you know, what all that time meant to me. Yeah. I mean, because you, you have me wrapped around your little finger, like, for a minute. Uh -huh. Like, I was, and you know I was feeling you. Yeah. Yeah, like, I was really feeling, like, I tell you, you was like, as long as I got Wi-Fi, my phone, and my credit card. Remember you said that? <laughs> yeah, we could do whatever. That's I, And that was the whole thing, too, when you were yeah. like, um, um, because I think I said in an interview, too, or I had mentioned to someone about, you were like, I can marry Shiloh. And I was like, wait a minute, he said he could marry me, too. <laughs> They and we had that conversation because you were like, once you told them where I was from, to mm -hmm. piggyback off of what you were saying, you you know, you were like, oh, it's a that you said your family was like, oh, she from Korea, oh, it's a wrap. You might as well just go ahead and, and show y'all go get married and like, and you told me that. Yeah, so that's why I was saying that once my family or my friends see you out of you know everyone else that was there. Mm -hmm. and they were they were gonna know so they knew Every, everyone knew they had a strong idea do you have um any regrets um i would like to say no um but if i could do it over like just like i said that i would have at least you would have kept your eggs out for air <laughs> yeah i probably would have just kept quiet and let the you know give the, the other castmates an opportunity to, you know, see me, deal with me, date me, get to know me more. And then the world would have been able to see a lot more of me as well. So Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because you're such an amazing guy. Oh. You really are. And you know that because I've always told you that. I've always, you know I've always yeah, told you I know. that. I'm messing around. So, yeah, it's just an unfortunate situation, like how everything turned out with you, just because I would have liked to have seen you stay on the show and really have that connection with whoever it would have been. You understand what I'm saying? And for people to learn more about you, because you love to educate. And that's another mm -hmm. reason why I fell for you, because mm -hmm. you do talk about things that people don't talk about, really. Yeah. You know, that's like people are oblivious to, especially with this generation. Yeah. And when and when you speak and I remember mm -hmm. you sent me that leak and you were like, I'm about to go live. And remember, you sent me that link um, when you were um, doing the, the Zoom call, uh -huh. um, when you were doing the Zoom call and um, you were talking about PTSD and you were talking about and you were like, you know, it was like five or six of you guys. Yeah. And I, and I remember I texted you and I was like, I watched like 30 minutes of it. Mm -hmm. I was like, but I have to go get my daughter or I had to do something. Mm -hmm. So, but in, in just hearing like, just, yeah. So I, I just thought that it would have been really, really amazing to have had you on the show so people could have learned more about you. But then I kind of think to myself, I don't really know because I remember when I was being filmed, especially on my green screens, I talked a lot about being <clears throat> I talked about um, because because growing up I was bullied really really bad um, you know uh, suicide came into play I talked about that I talked about domestic violence situations I talked about that um, talked about you know um, exactly what happened you know when I was 17 years old the guy put a gun up to my head gun the bullet, gun mm -hmm. went off I mean you know I talked about those things and that's why a lot of situations that happened during the show really hit me um, or hit home with me because I'm, I'm just like, and, and, and a couple times, like I had to get up from my chair on the green screen and go into the bathroom and I had to get myself mm. together. You know, that's the shit that I wish that they would have shown. Yeah. So it could have made sense. So it's not like Sabrina's just being a bitch and she's just aggressive and now she's calling her a bitch. <clears throat> no, shit hit yeah. home with me. Yeah. It pissed me off. Yeah. Because the shit wasn't right. You just don't treat people like that. Yeah. You know? And because I'd been treated like that and thought about actually taking my life behind it, it fucking pissed me off. Yeah. So anyway, but I have my interview, I think, tomorrow with um, Little Black Book, so we'll get more into that. I think there's a, there's a panel, right? 
Um, is it it is, and I'm going to do the, I'm gonna do the yeah. panel too at six o'clock. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. There's a uh, those back room questions got deep. deep, deep. Say it again. The, those questions got deep, deep. Um, especially uh, who was it? JB. Like they know how to ask to get. Oh yeah, info absolutely. Out of you. Um, absolutely absolutely it's not a game it's yeah. not a game and um you know because that's they ask those kind of questions because they really want to capture the essence of your emotions yeah. because when they catch the real you not the your representative or not yeah. the person that you want the world to see because you're an actor or whatever the case yeah. you are you know what I mean? But when they ask those hard questions, those real emotions come through and that camera lens will pick up that real crap, those real feelings, those real emotions. And that's what happened to me. And I wish that the things that I discuss that needed to be discussed, that I wish the world could have seen, I wish that they would have showed more of those things. And that's exactly why I wish that they should have, that they would have kept you on because I know you would have brought that as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have um, lots of footage of like me crying because <laughs> uh, like everyone's I cried right? a lot too yeah you're like... emotional back there yeah. and then um, I think they had asked me about my daughter and I couldn't even get it out I couldn't even get no words yeah. I was just you know yeah. like uh, yep. you're Same just way. like your, your emotional state just so high like during the whole process yeah no. Absolutely, absolutely, and I definitely had a lot of different emotions that, um, you know, I was dealing with every day. You know what I mean? And yeah. you know, we because we're still real people. Yeah. We still have lives at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like my dad was still sick. My mom, mm -hmm. I didn't even know she was sick. You got to mm -hmm. remember, we filmed my dad, my daughter at the reunion had an ear infection. Mm -hmm. The reunion, we filmed that on Sunday. My mom went into the hospital on, on that Thursday and then she died three weeks later, <laughs> you know? And it's like, you know, we are real human beings and mm -hmm. we are dealing with real life issues outside of the show. So it's like, we're on the green screen like, yeah, I mean, the date yeah. was fun <laughs> and... Yeah. Oh, and you're and I'm thinking to myself, oh my god, I hope my mom gave my daughter the you know her Tylenol for right. her ear infection, you know? <laughs> right. I like I can remember the outfits and the things that I was thinking about that day. Right? And then yeah. I I understand why I'm looking the way I'm looking. Because I'm like, damn, my daughter's gonna leave me in two days, you know? Or right. three days. And I'm here doing this scene, we run it late. You know what I mean? I could have, I could have maybe brought her with me, yeah, or something. You know, so yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not that it's over. Yeah. I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but you know, I you know, know, but you, you know, know what? How we do. That's what I was about to say. This is the. This, you know how we this do. This is what we did when we got yeah. on the phone, yeah. even you know we're filming, did. man. Like I haven't even looked at the chats for real. Like, like my focus has been. But this is how it is when you yeah. and I, whenever we have ever talked, like, yeah. you know, like we yeah. can talk hours and hours and hours. So and we're still going to do the dinner. I know the people want to know. <laughs> you been sliding in my DM. See, I ain't say nothing. You said it. I ain't, I ain't tell them nothing. I don't know no Tyrone because I heard that you was trying to holler at a couple of the other people too. So I don't know. I don't know. But is that, was that the Tyrone that was on the shots? Or was that the real Tyrone? Because I can't be having you try to take me out and then you trying to date the other castmates too. You got to keep so, it real. Keep it 100. Of course. <laughs> I always get the real. Um, <laughs> I told them it's to a point to where, and I know you've experienced this too. Yeah. Because I know when I, the last time I saw you out in the cat suit, Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so I told them that when I'm out and I see them, like it's like an intellectual thing i like the mental jousting i like to say things to see how you react to get a rise out of you right but i know sometimes it, so that's the point it's not what you're expecting yeah but you have to remember we all still talk to each other and i yeah, know we're gonna be friends regardless you yeah, know what that's I mean? fine. but you yeah. can't do that you gotta be careful tyrone oh god i no, feel like i'm trying to keep I, you no, no, no. I they know that it's not about you know getting with them. 
I'm just saying. I mean, there was one time we did have that conversation with another castmate, but nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened happened i can't with you i can't i can't i can't anyway yeah, yeah. but no yeah. we definitely yeah. have to still do our korean dinner because yeah. we were i don't know if you were asking for it but i know i asked for it for like three like two weeks straight um the korean dinner that's why when i walked up to the korean dinner uh-huh. and um that i had with sean uh-huh when I was walking up, I'm thinking like, I'm getting ready to finally have my Korean <laughs> dinner with Tyrone, and it has to be uh-huh. with Tyrone because the whole Korean connection. Yeah. Man, no. not saying nothing with Sean, but when I turned that corner and I saw Sean sitting there, I was like, what in the whole heckin' hell? Yeah. Why? I was like, why is Sean here? I was like, Sean been here. 48 hours and you got me on a date with him at the Korean restaurant and I've been asked to go to the Korean right. restaurant with Tyrone for two weeks I was like you know what right. whatever I was I, like yeah I got to a point where I just felt like they just didn't they ain't want that for me yeah um I think I was late in even realizing that we could put in a request but they knew like they knew they, they knew they knew they knew I was so upset when I walked around the corner with Sean. I was. I was uh-huh. up freaking sad. Uh-huh. I was upset. I was like, why is he here? <laughs> you know, no shade to Sean. Like, I love Sean. I would have loved to have gone and done dinner with him. Uh-huh. Just not the dinner that I wanted for me and you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it it made sense for me and you to do that because of the whole Korean connection. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Anyway. I'm, I'm sure there might be some footage of that. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> the people going to want to know. People going to want to see that. Yeah, but it's done 50, now. 50,000 views. 50,000 I mean, views. Tyrone and Sabrina <laughs> Korean dinner, finally. <laughs> and then, the, and then, like, the first day we go on, we go on dates with other people. I'm like, what in the... What the what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, remember, because remember when we went to that boxing date and I walked in, I was like, Tyrone, and I was like, Walter? <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you what I was thinking when I saw Walter. <laughs> I was like, this is getting real confusing and controversial. <laughs> right. Uh, that's how I, I, I was like, oh, they, they want it messy. Oh, you know they what I mean? wanted it. They, they want it messy. They wanted it. I was so excited yeah. to see. I was like, finally my date with Tyrone. Yeah. And I was like, and hold on. I was like, wait a minute. And then he not even here for me. <laughs> Imagine like how I felt with Zadio walked up. I was like, this is my second date. Right. You Zadio. had already had one with her. Yeah. Can I and I had none with you. <laughs> I was like, whatever. But I didn't have none with anyone at that point. <laughs> I didn't have none yeah. with anyone, I don't think. I think that was my first that date first ever. One? That was my first date ever with Walter and uh-huh. with you. Uh-huh. It was my first date ever, period. Wow. So, and then the second one was with the go-karts that was never shown either so yeah yeah anyway yeah <laughs> i was about to say because yeah, yeah. we can keep shooting it I and I, I, I keep forgetting like it's like people like, <laughs> <laughs> I they probably I have know. screen recorded this whole <laughs> be i keep forgetting Post- we're on live <laughs> man, it's all good i know i know but yeah <laughs> yeah no, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Oh, um, sure. I was gonna get on live with a bunch of different other people. I guess yeah. um, I'll, I'll do that another day because I just wanted to, you know, get on with. But oh god, I feel so bad. I was like, my supporters, my yes, and huh, I didn't even get to. Talk. Yeah, it's all good. No, but I love you, Ty. Sure, likewise. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> Okay. Well, I ain't calling you. I tell you that. I ain't no. I ain't no. Because I ain't calling none of you no more. All right. All right, honey. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. Have a great night.